He's what about Jelly pretty Roll big right now. I, I like his music, and I, I like his style. Okay. So, um, I can tell that he's been through a lot, but he's really good at putting it into his music, so it shows. He's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, so you're going to create one of the biggest record labels in the country or in the world? Is this going to be like a worldwide thing, or is this a worldwide um, thing? Uh, it, it is going to be a worldwide be thing. A worldwide, yeah. <clears throat> now, when it comes to going worldwide, so... You'd have to appeal to different audiences all around the world. Yep. So what type of what type of like ethnic music would you do? Like, would you have like? I do it all. Artists, you do it all. So you just one hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's up. How much do you think that would cost to get started? Well, it costs about ten grand a song. Mm -hmm. I have three songs out ten right now. Song? Yep. I have three songs out right now. And um, yeah, that's about it. And that's right, you make music too, right? I do. What's uh like what's your most popular song right now? Uh Roaring Thunder. Roaring Thunder. Yep. Oh yeah. It's on uh it's currently playing in about two hundred and fifty countries. Wow. Or two hundred ish countries, yeah. Dude, you're you're definitely Mr. Worldwide right now. Definitely Mr. Worldwide right now. Dang. So Tell me a little bit about that song. Like, what, what does it mean to you, like, Roaring Thunder? That sounds like a pretty emotional song. It, it basically means that um, I want I want to do, like, performing. I think that when I wrote it, I really wanted to appeal to people wanting to get into the business industry, politics. I think I'm going to use it for, like, a campaign song. Oh, you're going to run for office? I'm going to run for office at some point. What type of office are you thinking about? Presidential. President. Mr. President, that's Whoa. right, man. And that, that's why President everybody Larson. calls me Mr. President. Yeah. yeah? It's real shit, man. What, uh, what are some policies? Okay, so say uh, it's, two, it's 28, 2028, and it's an election year. You're running. What party would you go for, first of all? Independent. Independent, right. And who would you like to run against? Probably you, Joe Biden right Joe now. Biden? Do you have any like? <laughs> I would confuse the hell out of him. <laughs> you don't like anyone politically, or you kind of like uh, no enemies kind of guy. So, I, I'm a believer that like it's more what you do versus what party you're in. Mm. And speaking of what you do, uh, I guess can I ask you a couple policy questions? Sure. Uh, what would you do? about the current war in Ukraine right now. How would you resolve that? I probably shouldn't say this, <laughs> but I, I would take a nuke, okay, for nuclear power. Okay. One line option right there, man. But I would, I would do it on a country that is very small. Oh, so you're not so even in, other, in other words, so I wouldn't nuke, let's say, Russia no, or China, no. No. because that would start World War III, right? Would. But I would nuke a very small country. Everybody would wonder what's going on, yeah. right, and who did it, right? But at the same time, um, it would be like a warning. So it would be a covert, so it would be a covert it, warning nuke on an independent, nothing to do with the war country, and that won't start World War III. Because it's a small, it's, it's a small right. enough country. Because they know you're not playing around. It, yeah. They would know I'm not playing around, and it's a very like small country, so, and if done right. But let me if, ask you this, if yeah. you use a nuke for the first time in 70 years, you don't think that, because they're going to know where it comes from. No one's going to be ready for it. It's, it's a surprise. It's going to show up. Okay, well, well, well okay, then I'll pair up with the UK. Okay, but let's say they do find out, right? <laughs> let, let, let's say they do find out, right? And they create a coalition against the United States. You have a coalition of multiple countries against the United States now because you nuked a random country. What would you do then? So then, so, so let's say, right? If I nuke a random country, right. and then there's like five nukes, right, yeah. coming at the U.S. or, you know, flying up in the air, right? I, I think what we would do is we would wait and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Wait and see. I fucked with that. But, because I think right now it takes like 30 minutes for a nuke to go over the ocean, okay? Right. So we would wait and see like how close it's getting. 
and we would try to intercept if it gets too close. Okay. But let me ask you about an economic question. But I don't think I don't think it would be like all out like every nuke. Because I think I think we already know that if there's too many, it doesn't matter where it goes. Right. It's gonna it's and gonna so, destroy so the think, world. So you think if you launch one, and then if they not, else is gonna be like, damn, we got some too, but we're not gonna do that. I think I think they would be scared because be scared. I think I think the max you can do is like 25 or 30 at one time. Okay. Because then I guess the n- nuclear. Yeah, that's like the threshold. Yeah. Like 30 yeah. Okay. Like I think if not, then the wind can carry. The, the fallout. Nuclear fallout yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the nuclear fallout, and it could kill everyone. Let me on ask Earth. you this. Let me ask you this. That's a good plan. I like that plan. That's a great way to end wars forever. And yeah. What? But I think do? I think I wouldn't just do one. Yeah. I would do like two or three, as like a warning, because they will know if they do anything, then it would be right. over the amount. Okay. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Inflation is at an all-time high right now. We're looking at eight percent inflation right now. Yeah. Uh, President Biden says that he wants to continue quantitative easing, which, I, is, I, which is basically I, I the think lowering we, of interest rates. What yeah. would you do to fix inflation? Would you raise interest rates or would you continue quantitative easing? I think we should keep inflation. We should keep inflation. I think we should. I think we should. Yeah, I think we should keep inflation. Make everybody work harder. Okay, it will bring the economy back. Okay. okay. But I think we should actually be putting that money towards paying off our debt. Can you do that with an inflated currency, folks? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let me ask you this, though. So Mm -hmm. imagine inflation gets to about, let's say, 20%, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say everything costs a lot. I I would say no more than 25%. You would say 25% to your cutoff for inflation. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty high rate, though. It's pretty high. Welcome to record labels, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. But the man has a plan, though. Come on. All right. <laughs> What's your foreign policy? What I mean, you if like? you really look at it, okay, 25% out of every single person on Earth, okay, <laughs> that's not going to be that bad. I don't know. That's a big jump, though. We're at, like, what? Like, I don't know what we're at right now, but it's a... Uh, I think we're at, like, 7%. Yeah, that's something I like that. 25 is a big jump. It will happen. It'll happen gradually. <laughs> I trust the dollar will go away. We'll go up to five dollars. We'll keep it there for a week and then drop it. And so, how are you? So, if that if that was to happen, uh, in this world where inflation's at twenty five percent, how do you think the average person would survive? Like, how would you? If inflation so, was twenty five percent right now, how would you survive? I, I, first of all, I would keep it there for like four days. Four days. Okay. Or like a week, and then I would of course drop it. We well, can't. How, we how can't. How would you drop it though? Like specifically, how would you drop inflation? So, this is how I think we would do it. Okay, I think the prices of everything, right, should go up. Okay. No, why is that? Because then the companies and everything are going to be making more, and then we can tax them more. But the currency is inflated. That means the currency is worth less. Right. So, for example, like, yeah. So, like, so you would just print more money to tax these people, and then they pay you back. Well, first, currency. first of all, if we lose the U.S. dollar for you know a week or so, that's not really going to hurt anything. Are you willing to uh, ditch the U.S. dollar and replace it with another currency, maybe even a cryptocurrency like a Bitcoin? Are you kind of in that camp, or what's your opinion? Here's what that? I think. Okay. That's its own. That's its own thing. Okay, we have printers, and there's these. You know, we're printing money every single day. So in other words, the entire thing of oh, we're going to be running out of money. That's a big lie. But if but if you print more money, it's worth less because there's more. Not really. So how do you get rid of? Yeah, that's another lie. So you can just print money. Yeah, that's pretty much what they're doing. They want us to believe. That we're running out of money, so we work harder. Okay. <laughs> they they want us to believe that the U.S. dollar is going to go away, so we work harder. How long have they been saying the U.S. dollar is going to disappear? Ever since your grandparents were kids. No, 
one else is bringing this theory to the table. <laughs> you're the only one, bro. Shit. You definitely got my vote, bro. You got my vote. We'll be there for you. 25% inflation? See, Daniel, how old are you? Nuking the country? Dude, I'm like, for it, bro. But Daniel, how old are you right now? You're uh, 25, right? I'm 24. 24. So I guess it'll be 20, 30. I think it'd be 35, sort of. 35. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run for president when I'm like 70 years old. <laughs> oh, that's a long. Okay, we may not be here for this oh, one. No. You're gonna, you're you're gonna, gonna run against Biden. You're actually you're in your, you're in your 20s. I'm in my 20s. You look very mature for your age. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's fun though. It's fun now. That's well, anyways, I gotta get going. I, oh, I saw you your, yeah, I saw your community thing. You got a, are you going to the frat tonight or you got a, I'm going to the frat. Oh, yeah. you're going okay. to the frat party? Hell yeah. You're gonna get some uh, you're gonna get some some hose? You're gonna dabble in the hose tonight? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what's your what's your type, bro? Um, I actually have a girlfriend. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Damn bro, congrats. But I am not allowed to say right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. But anyways, like I said, I got to get going. Just bro. What's up with your court case, bro? What, what are you charged with? So, there are petty cases, mm -hmm. but I'm charged for, like, property destruction. Oh, shit. And it's because fans in the past, right, they were causing issues. Yeah. And they were targeting me. Okay? Now I'm to a point to where it's kind of people are getting more scared of me because I'm so popular. But on my rise to popularity, people were trying to, on purpose, try to hit me, walk up to me, you know, lie to security at places. I would get trespassed for, like, things I didn't do. And you said, fuck that. Yep. I'm going to destroy your property. Well, no. Um, it actually turned into more of, like, a fight between me and them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's things that they, not everything, right? Hits the media. That's another thing. So there's things that have gone on. Yeah, there's things that go on that you don't actually know because everybody believes the internet. Right. Yeah, the internet is a very yeah. different type of place. And so, how about you? Like, are you uh, taking some time away from the internet? Are you planning on like cutting back on your internet use? Well, actually, I can't because I'm going to college <laughs> for entertainment business. I'm talking about you know for like things like you know like um, personal use. Like you can use it for education. But I'm saying it's yeah. Far as, like, so I'm I'm taking a step back and then I post updates like what I'm doing, events. Of course, I have to market the events and what I'm doing. But I am trying to keep everything else to a minimum. That's good, bro. Yeah. Well, good luck with your court case, bro. Thank 25 you. 25% inflation, nuke a random country. 25% um, in, uh, inflation for a week max. For a, for a week. And the way that that would happen is we would set a standard where all stores, all businesses have to up their prices. So, in other words, to go to the store and get a gallon of milk, that's going to be like $10, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to raise tax. And then all we have to do is go back to the original. That's pretty much what they do. President Larson, everyone. Well, we'll be ready for it. We'll be ready. We'll here's, be here's, what, here's what actually happens. They do it in a cycle. So the housing market goes up and down. That's true. Currency goes up and down. Okay? Everything goes up and down in prices. They want us to believe that it's one and then the other. But in reality, sometimes they happen at the same time if you really keep an eye on it. Let me tell you one thing. You are probably smarter than everybody else. Everybody else tries to bring you down. But not smarter than you, right? Uh, you, can, you can be smarter than me. I don't think so, bro. I think you're pretty smart. What's your IQ? 68%. 68 <laughs> you're fucking smart, bro. That's 68%. Dude, I'm only at 50% IQ. I, right? I, I think it's I'm because all of my IQ. IQ doesn't mean anything anymore. That's true. But you're at 68%. Yeah. So you would know that because you're so smart. You're at such a high percentage of IQ that you completely negate IQ. But for the people that are on a lower percentile, then that means they, they, have to they use rise more up. Their IQ yeah. Because do you know anyone personally, like in your personal life, that has like they're maybe like 99 percentile, you know, like 100 percent? Who's 100 percent IQ? Do you know? Do you know anyone like that? I don't. Oh man. 
<laughs> if you had to name a celebrity or a famous figure who has a hundred percent IQ, who would it be? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. He's a pretty smart fella. That was a smart guy. That's true. Yep. What is it? What does the theory of relativity mean to you? I mean, you're sixty-eight percent IQ. This has to be an easy question, right? I actually don't even know what that means. Oh. <laughs> he cut down his IQ a little bit for that question. I'm not familiar, man. I'm only at 45, you know? Yeah. I'm like a... I don't even know anymore. Um, but yeah, I gotta get going because I actually have somewhere to be. It's three. That's a nice hoodie, by the way. Thank you. Who are you wearing? Uh, this? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just... I got it at the store. Nice. Yeah. You're wearing the store? I, I don't know. Hell yeah, bro. Alright, <laughs> 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 bye. All right, bye. Uh, Daniel, it's been great. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been great meeting you. Alright, thank you. Yeah, thank you too. You big fans. Bye.